Hello again and welcome back to Skyrim. Well, we are here by Stenvar. Looks like his body has moved a little bit since the last episode. The poor Stenvar faced his fate, the hands of an ancient vampire in the last episode. We were able to ultimately take out that ancient vampire, but at great, great cost. So Stenvar has a bunch of my stuff here on him, and I'm gonna, I'm hoping that this will stay here. Um, I'm gonna actually take this from him. Hopefully this will stay here uh, f f so that by the time I come back, I can uh, loot him um, and get my stuff back. But right now, um, I don't know what I'm doing. What we're, what we're ultimately doing is trying to make our way back to Winterhold. That's what we're trying to do. And, um, but we're, we're here by Sarthol, and I thought I saw, like, something on the ground down here that looked pretty interesting, so I'm actually going down to investigate. Is this a body here? Oh, Vigilant of Stendar here. Interesting. Uh, I don't think I want any of this stuff. So, yeah, here's... Oh, that's what I saw. I saw this. This is what I saw. This. I did not see a glowing weapon. I saw that, um... shard on that body there. That's what we saw. Okay, so I don't think we need to go back to uh, Sarthal, uh, but we do know that uh, we can get to uh, Winterhold from here. So we are going to see if I remember what path to take. Maybe we go this way. I don't remember. Traveling all by our lonesome now. Um, is there a, uh, a companion, a, a follower in, um, Winterhold? I, I don't know if there is. If there is, I didn't make note of it. I was just wondering if there was someone else that we could travel with here. Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh gosh, darn it. I had the See, this is why I don't like that. I, I like to have this thing picked. And look at his face. Oh, he's kind of pretty. He's pretty. This might hurt. Snow bear. Yeah, he might kill me. I need to be careful here. He hits really hard. Boy, I'm going through my healing potions, aren't I? Damn, he almost killed me twice. Gee whiz, I really need some help here. Now I'm carrying too much. Dunk on it, man. Um, well, that's fine and all. Um, take some potions. Oh, jeez, I'm still over encumbered. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. I'm getting pretty hairy up in here. Let us uh, bring up our inventory. And my weapons, and I need to charge this thing, so let's charge it using a lesser soul gem. That'll free up a little bit of um, weight, just barely though. I think. I think a soul gems weigh something. Okay, we've maxed that out. Yeah. We've got our carry weight down a little bit. So these guys, unless they're carrying gold, are basically just gonna have to leave their pelts behind, which is wasteful, but uh, what are you gonna do? So, uh, I think Winterhold is up here. Yeah, here's the uh, little cairn here telling us which way to go, which is nice. Man, it seems like... It seems like I should have run into a follower here in uh, Winterhold, but I just really don't remember one. Huh. And actually, I'm like looking at my notes now, and I'm noticing that I didn't even write down... Uh, Arander, the guy who hangs out in um, Nightcaller Temple, he's a potential follower. So I didn't, if I didn't write him down, that makes me think that I've probably forgotten to write down some other ones. And there may may very well be a potential follower here in uh, Winterhold that I've forgotten about. Maybe we could stop by the inn and uh, take a quick look.
But one thing I do need to do is manage my inventory. Uh, you know, we do have a place here in Winterhold. I could dump off my stuff there, right? And worry about it later. Then we could run back to, um... Stenvar's body and then get our stuff off of his body. Warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Okay, so let's see. Here we've got... I told you what you wanted to know. What else could you want? Nelikar. My days at the college are long behind me. Yeah. But I prefer to stay close by. So we've already talked to him. Mm -hmm. Ranmir. I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, all right? So I th feel like we already talked to him about this. This is part of a quest where uh, we're supposed to, I don't know, improve this guy's life by finding out about Isabella Rolaine. Um, he, this guy, he used to be like all happy-go-lucky and stuff. Uh, but then he got involved with this Isabella Rolaine person, and one day she just disappeared. She just disappeared. And, um, he thinks that she ran off with somebody else, and I just spends his time drinking here. So, let's see what we say about the, what he says about this. I feel like we already asked him this, but let's see. What? Don't you, don't you say that name to me. Don't you dare. Ever. Okay. That sounds familiar. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then. So, yeah, it's not looking like we've got any uh, potential followers here. The mages don't let us go in the college. They said it's not safe in there. Yeah. Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his inn. Sounds like a good deal. If there's anything you need, just if you're business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. Okay, nothing where new there. Where most of our business comes from, in fact. Um, I saw a book behind the counter here that I don't think I saw before. Be careful. Yeah, I don't know if I saw this one. So, it doesn't look like there's a follower waiting for us in here. Well, we need to go back to the College of Winterhold anyway, because we want to go... Oh, why do I have a quest there? Oh, Jazargo's experiment. Speak to Jazargo, and then do I have another one selected? I do. Um, return the helm. Oh, let's go. Let's return this helm. Yeah, right here, man. We went through all that trouble. We went oh, I to. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Yeah. What can I do for you, friend? Uh, what's up, Maylor Selloth? My job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking with travelers. Oh, well, what do you do around here? Me, nothing, and I hope to keep it that way. The Jarl is convinced mm. I have some connection with the college, so he goes easy on me. Maybe you'd like to help me keep up appearances. Mm. Old Nelikar has a major's staff in his room in the Frozen Hearth. It'd be good to have that staff, in case the Jarl starts wondering if I actually have a real connection to the college. Yeah, we've already talked to him about this. Forget it, pal. I'm not going to steal something for you. Daedra take you, then. Daedra take you, jerk. Safe travels. <laughs> Daedra take you. Safe travels. Alright, dude. I've got something that you are going to be very, very interested in. I don't care how many colleges they build, or how much the sea swallows up. I'll outlast them all. Okay, dude. You know, Winterhold used to be the seat of power in Skyrim. Now it's a shell. Anyway, I have the helm of Winterhold. Can you believe that this hold used to contend for the throne of the High King? Now, perhaps others will listen. Here, your reward is promised. You have Winterhold's thanks. Alright. Whoa, a thousand gold. That's not too shabby. Alright, well, we returned the, uh... Helm, is there anything else you need, my Jarl? There is room in Ooh. my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However... I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. It would be an honor. Good luck to you. Okay, well, now we have to assist the people of Winterhold. So this is not unlike the mm -hmm. Falkrith one and the... We have another one, too, where we're supposed to assist people. Assist the people of Winterhold... Um, assist the people of Hjalmarch, 
and assist the people of Falkreath. And it's weird to me that they're all two of three. Uh, this one here, retrieve Arendil's journals. We did retrieve them all, so why is this still here? What Am I supposed to do something with this? Let me turn this off. I mean, I retrieved all the journals. Why is this still on my list? Um, if we look on the map... Yeah, there's nothing on the map for this, so I don't really know why that's still there. If we do the Assist the People of Winterhold... Oh, that's interesting. You turn one of them on and they're all on. Look at that. <laughs> that's strange. But there's nothing on the map for those either. So now we need to uh, go speak to Jazargo. I find your wolfish grin unsettling. Okay. Okay, back to the college. And my home here in Winterhold. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. I'm going through my head trying to remember if there's a follower here, and I'm not remembering one. Jazargo, where are you, buddy? Is he. Does he also have a room in the Hall of Attainment? Oh, looks like he's our next door neighbor. Oh, okay. Because this is our room right here. So he's our neighbor. What's up? I hear you found some thing in Sartor. You think it could help make me a powerful mage? Um, even if I did think that, I wouldn't tell you. Well, dude, I tested your scrolls. And? Were they magnificent? Um, if I, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to kill me. Uh, were they supposed to explode? Because they exploded, it did not go well. Dude, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to kill me. Oh, Jezargo takes this to mean it did not go well. This was not the intention, to be sure. It is true that Jezargo was slightly concerned there may have been uh, problems. But you were not placed in Han's way on purpose. Still, you are a good friend to Jezargo now for taking this risk. Jezargo thanks you. Well, that ought to do it. Completed the quest, Jezargo's experiment. Uh, oh, yay! We uh, assisted the people of Winterhold. Cool. All right. Well, apparently we could make him a follower. Well, there you go. Jezargo is a uh, potential follower, huh? Well, I mean, I do need uh, someone. We could travel with Jezargo a little bit. Um, I do wonder, though, uh, this is maybe a dumb thing to wonder about, but if I make him my follower, will Stenvar's body disappear? May you walk on warm sands. I know that's dumb to wonder, but I'm not going to risk it. Instead, uh, we are going to dump some stuff off here for me to deal with them later. You can see I've got a ton of stuff in this wardrobe. And one of these days, maybe, I'll have some free time. And, um... What? Oh, damn it. Doing this backwards. Uh, one of these days I'll have some free time. And uh, we will uh, take care of this stuff. Or I'll do it off camera. Uh, so that you guys don't have to watch me do it. You're welcome. Uh, but, yeah, we're just going to dump this stuff off here. Oh, that's a quest item, apparently. The Nordic armor I want to try to improve. And, um, yeah, we'll go with that. Holy cow. That only gets my carry weight down to 350? Damn. I guess a lot of it is because I'm carrying this stuff. I guess really, let's just go ahead and dump this stuff off in here. I'm going to keep the helmet. And we'll wear this stuff instead. I mean, I can improve it while I'm wearing it. So that gets me down to 297. Um, but damn. Okay. Alright, well that helped a little bit. But golly, not nearly as much as I thought it was going to. 
I mean, gee whiz. Uh, I know I'm carrying a lot of ingredients exactly. and uh, yeah. other exactly. such exactly. things um, that I need to get rid of as well. I do realize that. Maybe later. I'm... Oh, looks like I dumped a bunch of stuff in here too. Looks like I'm just being willy nilly, really, with my stuff. Uh, I mean, I could dump goat hides in here. Pelts, we'll deal with those later. And, um, I mean, what weighs the most? Dragon scales, we'll dump those in there. These pelts, this metal, these ingots. I have 33 ore. That'll certainly help with the weight. And then we've got gems. I've been storing off my uh, unfilled gems. Okay, well that gets our weight down quite a bit. Uh, one thing I did not notice though, I thought that um, I thought that I'd gotten some quicksilver ore. Isn't that? I thought that's what we got in quicksilver mine. Um, back in uh, Dawnstar, but um, am I wrong? Apparently, I'm wrong because I don't see any of that. So I don't have any Quicksilver, unless I dumped it off somewhere and forgot about it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So this is me. Yeah. I got nothing here. I don't know, man. Dump all this in here. Although... I should, what I need to do is craft some health potions, right? Now that I've dumped all this stuff in here. Uh, is there an alchemy bench in here? Surely there is, right? You hesitate because you know Cesargo will be better than you. Very well. Um, well. Yeah, here in the Hall of Attainment, there is a, um. What are you doing, Cesargo? Why are you walking like that? Oh, I guess he's doing practice or something. Somewhere in here there is a If you have a moment, oh. could you help me with something? Yeah, sure, what's up? I still need some help. If you can spare the time. Yeah. Um, do you like it here at the college, by the way? So far. If only because no one is telling me how great I ought to be. I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. Huh, okay. Uh, Winterhold used to be full of Dark Elves? Didn't you know? Before the Oblivion Crisis, many Elves called Winterhold their home. More visited the college from Morrowind every year. After, growing distrust of magic made life difficult for many. Some left rather than endure the growing hatred from the local Nords. Others returned home after the Red Year, when Vardenfell erupted and caused much destruction. Winterhold itself died in the years between then and now. What's left out there is a husk. Only the college really remains. Hmm. She's a ventriloquist. She was talking while she took a drink. Uh, let's ask her what she needs help with. We're all trying to become better mages, right? Yeah. Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. <laughs> Would you be willing to assist me? She wants to practice spells on me? Um, can't you practice it on yourself? No, not that kind of spell. Believe me when I say I wouldn't be asking if it weren't necessary. Hmm. Well, what's in it for me? Well, I... I simply thought you might wish to help out one of your fellow mages. If that's not enough, I suppose, hmm. I have this amulet you could take. Okay, I'll help you. Oh, good. I was afraid <laughs> I'd have to go ask Jazargo. Now, you just stand there. Okay. Please hold still, and don't move. Okay. Whoa. Oh. oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you, do you feel all right? You look very um green. That's funny. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. Hmm. Huh. What did you what did you do? I'm not really sure. I think it's just I'm a minor really miscalculation sure. on my part. I'm sure it will wear off soon. When it does, you'll be perfectly fine, and then we can try again. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll see about figuring out what went wrong. 
Okay, started Brelina's practice. <laughs> Wait for Brelina's spell to wear off, okay? <laughs> I'd better get going. Oh, you're just gonna leave me here? At least I can move. Whoa. Oh, I never put on my armor. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't look green to me. My vision's green. Um, put my armor back on, man. Yeah, gee whiz. There. Well, I'm just supposed to wait for the spell to wear off. Braylena's practice. Uh, Braylena Marion has asked me to act as a test subject while she practices some new spells. Her first attempt ended badly, but she has assured me that if I let her try one more time, it will work out. I should find her once her spell has worn off. No idea how long this spell's gonna last, and I don't know if it even shows up in my effects here. Braylena's practice spell. There you go. <laughs> Everything is green. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's it. So for 11 more minutes, everything's going to remain green. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, I wonder if I went to uh, a blessing uh, thing, a, a shrine or whatever, if it would cure this. And I also wonder if my potion of cure disease would help this as well. But uh, I don't really know if I mind waiting around that much. Uh, health potions. Do I know how to craft health potions? Because I need them. Um, I'm looking at a list that I started a while back. I don't think I... Okay, I have a restore health potion recipe. Unfortunately, um, it requires blue darkwing and charred skeever hide. And I don't think I have much of either of those. I have... No, I have no blue darkwing and I have no charred skeever hide. At least not in that wardrobe over here. Yeah, I have no ingredients over here. So I I don't know, man. I don't even know how I could make a health potion. <laughs> it's surprising to me that I don't have any... I mean, I have damage health potion ingredients or a, a recipe. Um, I mean, I suppose that I could just take all of these now that... I mean, I, I know I just went to the trouble of dumping these in here. But uh, it doesn't take that long to take it back. So we're going to actually pay a visit to the um, alchemy lab here. And we're going to see if we can't make ourselves a freaking health potion. I, I don't want to go back out to get my stuff from um, Stenvar uh, when I could die, you know, and when I when I need health. So we are going to do exactly what I just said. Just making sure that there's no other ingredients around here. Okay. So I think that the uh, the alchemy lab is upstairs here. Even with the college's laid back attitude, there are still some things that are off limits. Oh yeah. Okay, where is it? Maybe it's on the next floor. Up even higher. Oh. Let's take us back to the sky room. My notes say that there is an alchemy lab in here. Here in the Hall of Attainment. I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. But, um... Uh, excuse me, Enther. Might I have a moment? What is it? Yes, uh, apologies for the intrusion. I was wondering uh, if you could possibly uh, procure a few select items for me? Really, Arniel? Because I seem to recall doing just that for you recently, at which point you assured me that you'd cover my expenses. And that, my nervous little friend, has not happened. <laughs> Would you care to comment on that, perhaps? Uh, hmm. Yes, I... Uh, I was unaware that I had forgotten that. I will... Um, I mean, I'll take care of that as soon as possible. See that you do. <laughs> Interesting little conversation there. Let's see if we can butt in. 
I don't think anyone here uh, nope. truly understands how useful my work will be. All right. Until next time. All right. Well, you're certainly making a name for yourself. Am I? Urag can be very helpful. Just don't antagonize him. So, um, where the heck is this alchemy lab? I'm, um, are my notes wrong? I still need some help, if you can spare the time. Well, I'm not ready yet. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. Yeah. What in the world? All right, I am... I am really confused. I don't know... I mean, we're in the... We're in the, um... Hall of Attainment here in Winterhold. I guess my notes are wrong. Because I do not see an alchemy lab in here. And so help me if I looked at one and didn't see it. It's possible. Hmm. So where is the uh, Hall of... Um, countenance? That's the other one. My notes say that there's also a... Uh, Alchemy lab in here. Maybe, yeah, maybe I got confused when I was making my notes. There is no, there just simply is no alchemy lab. In the other place. Here we go. Uh, okay. Well, that would be stealing. Chorus eggs I could take. Uh, okay. Let us see if I can't make myself a uh, potion. Uh, that will cure me. So, restore health I can make. With this stuff. Blue Mountain Flower, Butterfly Wing, Imp Stool, and Rock Warbler Egg. I mean, I don't have a lot, right? I have a Fortify Health. Restore Health. Blue Mountain Flower and Butterfly Wing. Restores 24 points of health. 24 points of health. 24 points of health. So these are just little tiny potions that are just going to do a little teeny tiny bit of health restoration. Hmm. Um. And then, I don't know anything about Abyssey and Longfin. Remember, we had picked up a bunch of really interesting ingredients off of some mages somewhere recently. Was that a Nightcaller Temple? I don't remember. Uh, let's look in here. So this we've never tried. Let's uh, eat it. Weakness to frost. Bear claws. So I'm just going to look through here and see if there's anything. Here we go. Chorus eggs. Weakness to poison. Spade tail. I have no idea. Daedra heart. Really? Daedra heart restores health. Interesting. I would not have guessed that. Dwarven oil. Weakness to magic. Ectoplasm. Restore magicka. Elves ear. Restore Magicka. Falmer Ear. Who knows? Fire Salts. Weakness to Frost. Garlic. Resist Poison. Giant's Toe. Damage Stamina. Hagraven Feathers. We'll taste those. Hist Carp. Unknown. Honeycomb. Unknown. We have a lot of ingredients here, don't we? Powdered Mammoth Tusk, who knows? That gives us weakness to magic. It's good to test, taste test things every now and again. So these are all of the <laughs> effects that are on us right now. And some of them look like they're going to last a few seconds. But uh, nothing we can't handle. So, yeah. Oh, we have a regenerate health now. That maybe was there before and I didn't notice. And if we combine these, health regenerates 24% faster for 300 seconds. Damages the target's magic by 14 points. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, but it just sounds complicated. 
Um, I mean, if we know of things that increase health, um, I mean, restore health, the Blue Mountain Flower, Butterfly Wing, Daedra Heart. I mean, if I combine Daedra Heart with... Um, I mean, it seems like... Let's see here, restore health. Yeah, there's Daedra Heart. Daedra Heart's there now. But it's still just 24 points of health. Man, I tell you. Hmm. Well. I guess. I guess I'm just simply going to make these. These are really lame. But, um, okay. There. We just made a bunch of restore health potions. Not that great. I don't think. Potion of restore health. That's it. 24 points of health. That I mean, that's... It's really not that great. Okay. Well, there you go. We made some health potions. One of these days I'll have to do some more experimenting with uh, ingredients and... Um, See if we can't find ourselves better health potions. So either I missed the, um, the alchemy bench in here, or there just isn't one. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. Uh -huh. I didn't find anything but dust. Yeah, well, could be upstairs. All right, well, I'm going to dump all this stuff off here. I'm not going to mess with it anymore for the time being. Okay. Now, um, what I really want to do is go back and uh, go back to Stenvar's body. And see if we can't uh, get the rest of our stuff off of him. Because I don't want that to go to waste. So that's what we're going to try to do. And then when we come back, we'll see if we can't find Jazargo. And uh, see if um, he'll follow us for a while. It might be interesting to travel with him. Although I really don't know what he has to offer. I feel like we're a better mage than he is. But it might be interesting to travel with him for a little bit. Boy, it's green, all right. A little annoying. But uh, we'll survive. These pants I'm wearing are interesting looking. So we know... Stenvar... Oh, gosh. Stenvar is, um... by, uh, Sarthal. Oh! This guy might be trouble, especially with two of them. Okay. Survived that, okay. of cyber cats. Let's go look at this goat that they killed. See if there's anything good on it. Goat hide, goat horns. Sarthal is indeed straight ahead. So Sarthal's down here, and I think we're going to walk up this way, and that's where Stenvar is going to be, I think. I think I'm remembering correctly. Ooh. Okay, cool. So the spell wore off, thank goodness. That's pretty annoying. We're going to go back to... 
I thought I saw a shadow of a dragon flying overhead. We're going to go back to um, Winterhold after we do this, so we'll talk to Bradlina when we go there. Oh, crap. More trouble up here. Who's fighting who? Who are these people? So much easier to Banded outlaws. Oh. Help me. Help me. oh. Oh, no. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. This is Talgar. Oh, okay, hold on. I hit F9 right before I came here. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and redo this because when I walked up there, my uh, at the top of the screen it said I was looking at a bandit, a bandit guy, but I think I was actually looking at Talsgar. The See, this is a bandit here. Oh. No sign of. Okay, good. All right, there we go. I was just a little confused last time. I, I blame the the game's interface. It was telling me bad information. Um, anything lockpick and gold. Hey, what's up? Hello there, friend. Hello. How lucky for you to chance upon a bard on the road. Oh, that's right. You're a bard, a bard aren't you? Can you sing a song for my dead friend? Ah, <sighs> smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good place to play a song. I agree. I'd like to make a request. For a generous fellow traveler. But of course... What would you like to hear? Hmm, what would be a good one to hear? Well, I mean, this is it, man. You just, everybody just knows the same two songs. Uh, let's see here. Stenvar, um, he was a Nord, right? And um, where did we where did we meet Stenvar? We met Stenvar in Windhelm. Windhelm. I think is Stormcloak territory, so maybe he's a storm. He's he's more Stormcloaky. We'll sing the Dragonborn comes. Ismir's blessing on you. This one's a favorite of mine, a legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I tell you, the Dragonborn comes. With the voice wielding power of the ancient Lord Ark. I was hoping he'd follow me. There's his body. Okay, we can still get our stuff here. That was weird. Oh, d d take all. Let's take everything from him. I'm carrying too much. Oh gosh, I just so much hate to just leave him lying here naked like that. Um. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a multiple trip thing here. Even with my boots. Um, I mean, good lord. I did not anticipate him um, having that much weight on him. Holy crap, man. Well, we got to put this armor back. I'm just going to dump heavy stuff on him. Oh, wait a minute, I'm good. 339. Okay, the orcish armor's too much. If I could do math, I would have I would have made that calculation. Uh Okay, the warhammer. Okay, everything else we have to leave on him. So, god, Stenvar, I'm so sorry, man. He's still singing that song. So, now we will run back to White Run. I mean, um, Winterhold. These W cities get me confused. Hmm. Well, I was going to say, I, I just remembered that I could level up, increase my stamina a little bit. So I could carry more stuff. Why is my stamina reduced 
here. Huh. I don't know. Who's this guy? Who the heck's this guy? Who are you? Stormcloak Courier. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> hmm. You got something for me, dude? No? Okay. He's just a courier running around out here. Interesting. Just a running. I think couriers would should be on horses or something. Oh, I'm faster than you. But only for a little bit. Then I run out of stamina. I mean, I see a courier, and I just assumed he was going to be looking for me, but uh, apparently he's not. Because I stopped and tried to talk to him, but he did not have anything to say to us at all. We're just going to go in here and dump this stuff off, and uh, we're going to talk to Bray Braylina. Huh. Why is it... Do I not have that quest selected? Return to Courier. Oh, that's right, because I helped people. We need to go talk to him. That's right. Okay, Braylina is in here. Good. All right. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. Yeah. I'll talk to you here in just a minute. I'm going to dump some more stuff off here. Okay. Uh, Warhammer, Dragon Bones, Axe, Shield, Dragon Scales, Dwarven Bow, Helmets. Look at all this stuff. I'm keeping the boots. I feel like I should just keep that on me, because who knows when I'll be back in White Run. Okay, there we go. Dumped off a lot of our heavy stuff there. Alright, let's talk to Braylina. So now the spell has worn off, so we need to talk to her again. Hello. At least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. Mm -hmm. Your spell finally wore off. Exactly as I said it would. Now, are you ready to try again? I am confident it will work this time. Man, we're putting an awful lot of faith in her, but fine, you can try again. This will be worth it. Okay, now don't move at all. Huh. Oh my, that isn't right. Just wait, just, <gasps> I can fix this. <laughs> oh no, that's not it at all. <laughs> Let me try again. This really isn't turning out the way I'd hoped. I need your help. I'll get it right this time. I swear. Up. Okay, dude. Hold on. Whoa. There. All better. Am I all better? Or is she? Well, oh, here she is. It all worked out in the end, didn't it? Did it? Um. It's been a pleasure. Let's never speak of this again. Agreed. And thank you for your help. You're a good friend. I am a good friend. Okay, necklace of dwindling magic added. Doesn't sound like something I would want to wear myself. All right, then. A uh, necklace of dwindling magic increases magic resistance by 15%. Meh. Meh. Hey. Isn't this my room? I hear you found some thing in Sartor. You think it could help make me a powerful mage? No, I don't. This is my room, isn't it? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's funny to me that uh, he just comes in and helps himself. Just has a seat wherever. Uh, okay. All right. Well, um, so this guy seemed like he wanted to talk to me about something, but we'll talk to him next time. Uh, get out of my seat. I hear you found some thing in Sartor. You think it could help make me a powerful mage? <laughs> I think it's funny. I wanted to come back here and read a book, sit in my chair and read a book, but he's in my chair. Uh, excuse me, Enther. Might I have a moment? What is it? Yes, uh, apologies oh, for the... Oh, that, that same s story is going to happen again. Um, if you could possibly... Uh, Hey. I hear you found some thing in Sartor. You think it could help make me because a powerful Because I seem to recall doing just that for you recently, at which point you assured me that you'd cover my expenses. And that, my nervous little friend, has not happened. Would you care to comment on that, perhaps? Uh, hmm. Yes, I... Uh, I was unaware that I had forgotten that. I will... Um, I mean... I'll take care of that as soon as possible. See I understand you. you're the one that found this orb in Sarthol. I did. I found I'm the orb. On some very important research, I assure you. Well, let's have a seat here at this bench. Maybe we'll eat a little bit of food while we read. Kind of nice, right? We're going to read a book. It's what we do at the end of each episode. You don't have to stick around if you don't want to. But a lot of people enjoy it, and I enjoy doing it. So we are going to read a book. Uh, let me look at my notes here. I have quite a few books here that are marked as red, but they're actually not red uh, because I was forced to pick them up at one point. Uh, this one is curious to me. Mana Marco, King of Worms. Let's read this one. Mana Marco, King of Worms by Horacles. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. O sacred isle Arteum, where rosy light infuses air. O'er towers and through flowers, gentle, gentle breezes flow. Softly sloping green-kissed cliffs to crashing foam below. Always springtide afternoon housed within its border. This mystic, mist-protected home of the Sigic Order. Those counselors of kings, cautious, wise, and fair. Ten score years and thirty since the mighty remnants fell. Two brilliant students studied within the Sigic's fold. One's heart was light and warm, the other dark and cold. The matter latter man a Marco whirled in a deathly dance, his soul in bones and worms, the way of the necromance. Entrapping and enslaving souls, he cast a wicked spell. The former Galarian had magic bold and bright as day. He confronted Mana Marco beneath Grey Sephora Tower, saying, Your wicked mysticism is no way to wield your power. Bring your horror to the spirit world, your studies must cease. Mana Marco scoffed, hating well the ways of life and peace, and returned to his dark artistry, his paints, death and decay. O sacred isle Arteum, how slow to perceive the threat! When the ghost ghastly truth revealed how weak the punishment, the ghoulish Mana Marco from the Isle of w the Wise was sent. To the mainland dawn's beauty, more death and souls to reap. You have found a wolf and sent the beast to flocks of sheep. Galarian told his masters a terror on Tamriel has set. Speak no more of him, the sage cloaks of grey did say. T'was not the first time Galarian thought his master's callous, unconcerned for men and mare, aloof in their island palace. T'was not the first time Galarian thought t'was time to build a new order to bring true magic to all a mighty mage's guild. But t'was the time he left at last, fair Arteum's azure bay. Oh, but sung we have of Venus Galarian many times before, how cast he off the Sigic's chains, bringing magic to the land. Throughout the years, he saw the touch of Mana Marco's hand. Through Tamriel's deserts, forests, towns, mountains, and seas, the dark grip stretching out, growing like some dread disease, by his dark necromancers collecting cursed artifacts of yore. 
They brought him they brought to him these tools, mad wizards and witches, and brought blood tainted herbs and oils to his cave of sin, sweet akaveri poison, dust from saints, sheafs of human skin, toadstools, roots, and much more cluttered his alchemical shelf like a spider in his web. He sucked all their power into himself. Manamarco, Worm King, world's first of the undying liches. Corruption on corruption, till the rot sunk to his very core. Though he kept the name Manamarco, his body and his mind, were but a living, moving corpse as he left humanity behind. The blood in his veins became instead a poison acid stew. His power and his life increased as his fell connection grew. Mightiest were these artifacts, long cursed since days of yore. They say Galarian left the guild, calling it a morass, but untruth is a powerful stream polluting the river of time. Galarian beheld Manamarco's rise through powers sublime. To his mages and lamp knights, before my last breath, face I must the tyranny of worms and kill at last undeath. He led them north to cursed lands, to a mountain pass. Oh, those who survived the battle say its like was never seen. Armored with magicka, armed with ensorcelled sword and axe, Galarian cried, echoing, Worm King, surrender your artifacts, and their power to me, and you shall live as befits the dead. A hollow laugh answered, You die first, Manamarco said. The mage army then clashed with the unholy force obscene. Imagine waves of fire and frost, and the mountain shivers. Picture lightning arcing forth, crackling. In a dragon's sigh, like leaves, the battle mages fly to rain down from the sky. At the necromancer's call, corpses burst from earth to fight, to be shattered into nothingness with a flood of holy light. A maelstrom of energy unleashed, blood cascades in rivers. Like a thunderburst in blue skies, or a lion's sudden roar, like sharp razors tearing over delicate embroidered lace, so at a touch did Galarian shake the mountain to its base. The, the, the deathly horde fell, fatally, but heeding their dying cries, from the depths the king they called the Worm King did rise. Nern itself did scream in the mages and necromancers' war. His eyes burning dark fire, he opened his toothless maw, vomiting dark lit darkness with each exhalation of his breath, all sucking in the fetid air felt the icy touch of death. In the skies above, the mountain darkness overcame pale. Then Mana Marco, Worm King, felt his dismal powers fail. The artifacts of death pulled from his putrid skeletal claw. A thousand good and evil perished, then history confirms. Among, alas, Vanis Galarian, he who showed the way, it seemed once that Mana Marco had truly died that day. Scattered seemed the necromancers, wicked, ghastly fools. Back to the mages' guild, victors kept the accursed tools. Of him living still in undeath, a man of Marco, king of worms. Children, listen as the shadows across your sleeping hutch, and the village sleeps away, streets emptied of the crowds, and the moons do balefully glare through the nightly clouds, and the graveyard's people rest, we hope, in eternal sleep. Listen, and you'll hear the whispered tap of the footsteps creep. Then pray you'll never feel the Worm King's awful touch. And there you go. Manamarco, King of Worms. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you join me again in the next one.